<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the Radio Man 03, and it's awesome to have you along. This is Arthur Morgan. He's got the update, upgraded bandolier. we got the upgraded holster. I've managed to do one of the satchels, the very first one that helps us with our medicinal stuff. Um, upgraded ammo belt. Uh, upgraded saddle. We got a new horse. I did not get this one legally, but I did get her, and I just think she's amazing. Sophia is her name. Uh, let me show it to you. We're going to start with this right here. Um, let's give her a quick brush. Yeah, there we go. We're still bonding. We're still bonding. We're working on it. I think we're at level two right now. Yeah, there you go, babe. There you go. Isn't she beautiful? Look at her. So I kind of got her from a guy that was just out camping. And um, he never saw it coming, so it, I felt like it was okay. And then she just kind of came over to me, calmed her down, jumped on her, walked around for a little while, and there she is. But she's amazing. Now, I think if I do this, I can do, yeah, show the info. She is a Belgian draft. Uh, I thought she had better health prior. Well, we can get her health up. We got uh, two more bondings to go. Yeah, we're halfway there. But speed? is almost top acceleration is a top right now so she's okay she's she's really fun to ride the other horse i found was this mustang over here now this one i, I picked up and it was like 650s is what i'd get for this horse if i took it in right away you guys say if we work with the horse a little bit maybe it, it, it's worth more so this mustang right here is fully 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 uh fully broke uh let's go to the info She's got as much as she can get without the course. We don't have the saddle on her right now, so there it is. But I tell you what, everybody, everybody absolutely loves this horse. When I'm on her, I get more compliments than I know what to do with on this particular horse right here. Uh, I've been riding her probably for the equivalent of maybe six, seven hours in-game. Uh, just going out doing hunting and things like that, I was using her. So I just caught her in the wild. I got her in the wild. Uh, this one here was... You know, somebody else's horse, but uh, I I decided I wanted it. Uh, I did all the chores, which is a big help. Oh, and I also found over here, too, that there is a water bucket right here. I was trying to figure out. I knew there was a water chore, and I just had never, I never noticed this bucket right here. But this bucket right here, pick it up. You do it. You could do a chore. We got the, we got the, uh, the supplies right there. You got the hay right there for the horses, so there's four others that you could do there and then you got the wood chopping over here by uh well i guess closer to pearson over here oh we got the chicken coop up and running there it is right there i think i may have brought camp up oh good morning good, good don't say good morning to him oh jeez, man oh do i need to study these chickens i haven't done that yet study every animal too i've, I've been trying to figure that one out too hello 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 can I not talk to anybody while I've got water in my hand? That's weird, huh? Morning, okay. Arthur. Good. I'm, I'm, I am so sorry I'm ignoring all of you. I'm, I'll, I'll come back and make it up to you. So you just come up to one of these water things here. And uh, boom, there you go. He seems to pour it on the ground. <laughs> At least that's what it looks like. And then you put it down here. But they love me for all the work that I do around here. I can tell you that much. I do the chores a lot. I'm going to grab me some coffee. Ah, okay. Let's grab some. Let's, let's grab a hot cup of joe before we head out the door here. Ah, sounds good. I'm gonna have some mine too. Okay, so I did manage to find our first perfect elk pelt. Abigail. Hello there. Tilly. Good morning, Arthur. Abigail. Good morning to you. Arthur. There we go. There we go. A little bit of high action going on here. Get her to you. Hi, Mary Beth. Good morning, Arthur. Ah, Mary Beth. Mary Beth. Who doesn't love a gal with two first names? Especially when it's Mary and Beth. Oh, man. Who made this? This is good. This is good coffee. Oh, careful now. Oh, jeez. Okay. You got to watch out for these guys around the fire pit. They kind of walk right into you. She's getting coffee, though. All right. So... 
Uh, let's go over. Let's go talk to Pearson about upgrades real fast, if we could. I'm gonna go ahead and have Arthur do a little, a uh, little bit of little shake in his uh, caboose there, get us across the, the camp a little bit, and I'll show you what we did for upgrades too. Uh, so far, in this category, the satchel we have made the tonic satchel increases the carrying capacity for all types of tonics from shop bought to crafted versions. Now we've got ingredients saddle. That's what I'm working on next. I need a perfect badger pelt for that. Next is the kit satchel. This one will be interesting because it's going to push us out a little ways further and it's going to have us go find a panther pelt. So that's going to make that one a little more difficult. And you can see each time it kind of pops us out. There's a bison and a raccoon. I've been looking for a raccoon one too. You've got to go out at night. But what I'm really looking for right now is that badger, that badger pelt. Uh, I wouldn't mind, we could grab an elk pelt too, but a badger and an elk pelt is what I'm looking for. And I did find elk. For some good material. All right, uh, and then let's go take a look at the ledger too, so I can bring you guys up to speed on the ledger also. Because I did a lot of upgrading in here also. So we're, we've kind of got camp moving along pretty good. So right now, if we want to boost up our medicine, our medicine I think is as far as it can go. It's 60 bucks each time I want to do it. So I've, <laughs> you know, I got to keep making money so I can pay these bills so I can keep things in stock around here. Provisions is at $32. We could do the treat ourselves, which allows the cocaine, chewing gum, and assorted sweets for 44 bucks. But I'm kind of holding off on that right now because I thought I started thinking to myself, uh oh, you started jumping up too fast and you're not going to be able to make enough money to deal with this. So that's kind of what I went through my head. Over here, we still don't have the horse station, uh, but we do have the chicken coop. We've got the chicken coop and the leather working tools, and that's it in the book. So we're only missing a couple of things. We need a better place for Dutch. Uh, we could do one more upgrade on our ammunition and arms. It's $88 to do that. Uh, and then I've got to uh, treat ourselves over here, and I think that's the last of it. And then it would be camp is fully upgraded as far as I know, if I'm understanding the ledger correctly. Uh, Mr. Marston, yes, indeed. Okay, um, I did that. I was going to go out and see about that badger. I changed our clothes a little bit. We did die a couple of times. Um, well, good morning. I, I lost a few pelts. I wanted to see if that Mustang is worth anything. Uh, let's go ahead. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's grab. Let's grab Sophia here, and we'll have this one follow us. Hmm. Oh, I wonder if maybe I can't do it, and maybe I, I can't do this in camp. Yeah, everybody really likes this horse. I'm, I'm, I, I feel like I need to, I should keep her. But at the same time, um, I feel like I, I want to try to sell her and see if I can't find a male Mustang that's got the same coloring. I would love a Mustang. It, it's, it's she's, she's kind of small, but she's, I guess she's pretty fast. I mean, and she's got a decent amount of health on her too, right? I mean, she's got a good chunk of health and a good chunk of stamina. She can go, go, go. You put the, she's one, two, three. She's not as fast as a horse can go though. A horse, I guess the top speed is seven, but her acceleration is really good. So that's why I kind of think about keeping her, but I wanted to see, is she worth any money to me? And while we're on our way, we'll, we'll keep our eyes open for a badger. But this here's Sophia, and she is just um, she's just a ton of fun. I sit up a little bit higher so I can see better. You can see my new satchel there for the the medical stuff. There we go. Now we got her. Now we got her. Perfect. Yeah, it was probably just because we were too close to camp. Yeah. Now what I, the down tick I did notice about um, so the 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 Mustang behind us is that she is extremely skittish. Super, super skittish. Even around gunshots, even at a level four, um, <clears throat> a taming level, I guess. What do I call that? Um, our, our level four bond is she is nervous around gunshots, all of them. And she is quick to kick you too, kick you off. Oh, by the way, I finally learned my lesson. For the rabbits, you want a level three rabbit? Get yourself the varmint rifle, take aim. If it's a three, shoot it. You get a, you get yourself a perfect pelt. If you are going to be hunting the squirrels, 
get those small arrows and use those on the level three squirrels and then you get those guys no problem uh, i tried using those the small game uh, arrows on the rabbits and a lot of the time they just get up and run off i feel like instead of that being really an arrow i feel like that's like a blunt tip type item that kind of knocks them out and makes them dazed and you got to get to them quick to scoop them up so you can you know um, harvest them so it's just easier to have the varmint rifle with the uh uh, easier to have the varmint rifle with the rabbits and then the use the small arrows for the uh, other thing the uh, squirrels yep. that's that's what I did to get get mine and it worked really really well and I wanted to share that for sure we're gonna go all the way back to the stables first thing I never take the right way in here I always wind up having to go cross country morning, friend. morning these guys are accusing me of causing like big trouble here and I'm kind of getting a little sick of it I didn't do nothing but get into a fight with a guy who... I, God, did I start that fight? I don't remember starting that fight. I don't. I don't remember starting the fight. I, I remember finishing it out in the street, but I don't remember starting it. You know, I also took out an old Driscoll gang camp last night that was just nearby, just across the tracks from where we are. And uh, I went ahead and did, uh, you know, did some damage there. Howdy. Enjoy the morning, mister. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. partner. You've done enough hey, harm here. See? Good morning, yeah. mister. You've done enough harm here, he says. And I'm like, what the heck did I do? I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did. I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and put Sophia right over here. You know, I've noticed is every time I come through this place, this place right here, you've got to stop and you've got to brush your horse because it is filthy. Watch the dirt come off this horse. Just riding up that little bit of road. Boom. You see that? That's right, baby. That's right. That's right. Who's a good horse? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, girl. Mm-hmm. You're a good horse. All right, let's uh, let's go see what this Mustang is worth here. I think I can do this way. I'm uh, sometimes I confuse myself on this, but let's take her in here. I want to know how much I can get for her since she is fully broken. Howdy. $26. That's it, huh? Wow. See, I think she's too small. I'm going to sell her and take the 26 bucks. Good, 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 good. All right. So we still have our Shire, and uh, we still have um, uh, Jethro in there, and then uh, free, free Loader. And then this is, this is Sophia. This is Sophia. Yeah, that's right. This is Sophia. She's gorgeous, man. She's awesome. She's an awesome horse. Uh, this, this is one of the favorite parts. My this is one of the favorite parts of my game. Be, be able to do all this while riding on the back of a horse is just fantastic. Uh, what else did I find? I found an oil rig. Matter of fact, let's go out to the location I'm looking for, just to just to scan it scan it real quick. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you can see the animal insignias here. That this is a badger right here. So I feel like that's where the badgers are. Now that's the only badger location I see on the map. Morning, partner. Morning. Hey, mister. Hey there. She's really quick to get up and going. Oh, I also found the treasure that's up on those rocks up there too. There is a treasure up in these rocks here. If you go up this way, you Whoa. eventually wind up on a in a campsite way up at the top there. And there's a there's a few things to find up there. Oh, did you see that? That eagle just grabbed that animal and took off. Is that a badger? That would be crazy if that was a badger that he just picked up. Did you see that? What did he, what did he? Easy now. <laughs> what is that? What was that? Virginia possum. Oh, did he pick up a, an animal I had killed maybe? I did kill some possums. Oh, oh did you see that? That bird come right down for that. Oh, it's a rabbit. Oh, it's a rabbit. That is so cool, though. Yep. 
I will take a f level three buck every day of the week. It's nice to go back into camp there we go. at the end of the day and um, have some food. And it's a perfect pelt. Yeah, it won't take it's beautiful. Long, Look at that. Now, just to for clarity, if you watch, I'm taking this, and I'm going to take some meat, I'm going to take some fat, and I'm going to take some antlers. I'll take the pelt. There's some venison. I got the buck antlers. Yeah. It's not just the hide. Oh, I also found, it looks like yep. there's another bone right here. I found a bone. Oh, this is a dead animal. Whoa, that is really messed up. Easy. What is this all about? Holy cow, look at that. Disgusting. Come on, girl. I found a, a piece of uh, the dinosaur bone. I found one of the 30 that's available to find. It's in an oil uh, derrick just uh, on the other side of these hills here. That was fun. You go down in it and there's a, a, a piece of bone down there. So I helped out that lady, the paleontologist that was uh, out over here digging up bones. So, I tried to help this guy over here before, and he's having a horse problem. Uh, I need to... There we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, he didn't... Okay. He's working on his horse, and when you ride up and ask him if you can help, the horse kicks him and kills him. So, I feel like I saved his life just now by doing that. That was an accident. I meant to pull out my binoculars. <laughs> it didn't work. I feel like I may have saved his life, though. There we go. We'll put that away. All right, I'm still hunting around for a badger. I, I probably spend a day and a night doing this, looking for it. I'm also thinking I might go uh, see if I can do... I think we've got a couple of... There's that oil derrick I was talking about over here. I mean, camp is just over the other side of this hill here. But it's down in here where the bone is. Right in there. It's a badger. Easy. Whoa. Uh, I hope I didn't run it over. I don't think it was level three, though, was it? I think it was a two. That's what we're looking for, though. Yeah, it's a two. Dang it, Jim. All right, we're, we're on the right track. It's the right critter we're looking for. The old beaver. Or the badger. Not the beaver. The badger. <laughs> the mean old badger. I can't imagine there's probably too many in a territory either because they are nasty little buggers. You know, they're right up there with wolverines, honey badger, the badger. They're tough, uh, they're tough hombres. Is that what they say? Tough hombres. All right. I've not come up with another one, but I do believe, that, indubitably, that what I'd like to do is probably, it's suggesting it right now, there's treasure maps in the game. So, um, there's my satchel. Okay, so let's take a look and see. Jack Hall Gang Map 1. Okay. So, this looks like to me it's Valentine on the left bottom corner there, and there is a mountain over here that we got to go up, and we're looking for that rock formation right there. It looks like if we walk between those rock, that rock formation, we will find uh, the treasure, or at least a map leading to the treasure. So... I'm pretty sure I've seen those rocks. We're going to head over to Valentine and see about that. Because I think that's a that's a thing.
Well, it's getting to be evening time right now. But let's go over here by this church. Seems we need to go up behind it, I think. There's a path right here. It, it, it showed a path. It looked like it was going up behind the church. So it should go up around the edge of this mountain here. And maybe our that rock formation is over on the other side. I feel like I've seen it. Uh, with the amount of time I've spent around here. Those two tall spires like that. Easy. Oh, baby. Okay, there's our elk pelt for the next one. At least we got that. So yeah, coming up in these hills here behind the church is a good thing. That's a good clean kill right there. Yeah, look at there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Perfect elk hide. Perfect. It's a big job. There we are. I hope I got room for all this. <clears throat> Alright, we should probably head back as soon as we can for uh, camp. For the sole fact that we don't want to get stuck out here with this stuff. And lose it. See, I couldn't harvest everything off of that animal right there, so... Yeah, I'm better off going back to camp and dropping this stuff off. Okay, let's look at the map. Where am I? We're at the Firwood Rise. Got a berry here too, it looks like. Yeah, but there's elk all over the place up in here. So that was a good spot to come to. And then, uh, which is not far from Valentine. I need to look for that area. Uh, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll get back to the treasure map in just a second. Let's get this home. And then we'll go out looking for that spot again. Opportunity yeah. knocked on that. I'm going to need it for the next uh, challenge. So the next satchel along with that cougar pelt, so I need to keep my eyes open for those things. Okay there. All right, let's give this another look here. Jack Hall Gang Map 1. Okay, so we are at the church. It's, and it looks to me like it's that mountain right over there. We go around the, up and over the top of it, and there should be some spires on the opposite side of it. So I feel like we're maybe on the right track here. I feel like this could be, this is the right track, I think. I think we're supposed to go up and around this thing here, like we were doing. It's kind of pushing us up and over around this hill. This looks like a stable there, because it's a barn, huh? Whoa, easy. What do you think? I don't see anybody here. I see a fire over there. Oh. I hear a voice. Oh, 
man. There's somebody in there for sure. I don't exactly see a way in. Probably shouldn't have done that. Catch myself on fire here. Hmm. I wonder if this is some kind of mission you gotta wait till the doors open. What about this place here? Can I get in here? Oh, I got in here. There's a cigarette card. There we go. Snapping turtle. That is uh, another one that we have found. I'm going to take the stuff. I don't know what she's doing out there. I don't even know if I can actually get her out of there, you know. I bet if I had some dynamite, I could... Yeah, I bet I could do it. For a second, I thought it was going to be that ga the gal who's doing the uh, paleontology stuff. Well, it looks like I've got all the stuff I can do there. Yeah, I don't know what to do. She stopped talking. It's all quiet in there, so I'm thinking maybe there's a mission. Okay. I thought it was the paleontologist lady. Huh? Anyways, we looted her house. Oh, I guess I didn't loot the outhouse, did I? Whoa. Is it worth checking the outhouse? Probably so. This is Red Dead Redemption. Grand Theft Auto and all. Rockstar Games. Uh, but I don't see anything to search, so... Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, I'm back on the hunt for... Yep. Those rocks. Got a raccoon over here. That should be a perfect oh. raccoon. We need a perfect raccoon. I'll definitely take that. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. That's what we need. Big old plump. Look how chubby that guy is. Alright, so we have a perfect raccoon. And we've got the elk, so I might... Well, I think you've got to make the satchels in order. It's a possibility. I'm not sure if that's exactly oh, right or not, but... Yep. We're working on it. Easy there. Okay. Messing around. I still... I, I have not located those um, those rocks yeah. yet. I feel like I might be um, misreading that map. Maybe I'm at the wrong church. I thought that was Valentine represented on that map, though. Wow, look at the size of that guy. That is a big, big old elk right there. Still the wolf. Yeah, it won't take long. I didn't see a rating on this. Oh, maybe because I haven't studied it yet? Let's see. See, she's nervous around these the predators. She gets really nervous. Just like the Mustang did. That's a good wolf pelt, it's not a good one. It's interesting there's only one. Usually there's three. Yep. She 
Shouldn't do too bad, though. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, yeah? Why not a race to Calumet Ravine? Okay. You? Sure, let's race. All right, let's race! We lost him back there, didn't we? So if we win two races, it's going to increase our acceleration or is it speed? I think it's speed. Oop. Chat, I'm a trail hog. Hey, you're cheating, dude. Oh, Jesus, screwed that up. Whoa. <laughs> Shove him out of the way. Whew. Look at that. A one. Oh. What happened to you? Whew, that was close. All that stamina training. For nothing. <sighs> What I win? Did it show me? I didn't notice it. That was that was uh, that was a pretty sloppy race. We won, but just barely. I thought I heard a bear just now. A couple guys coming down a trail, and there's a bear cave. Looks like a bear cave right up there. Okay, so I haven't found those rocks. I don't know. Oh, I love the sound of the elk up here. This is so great. Oh, what do we got here? See here, somebody's walking up down the road here. Yep. She need assistance. Oh hey, you there! Think you can help a lady out? My horse up and died on me, twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Oh, yeah, you bet sure. I could. I'm Get on up. here. Oh thank you, sir. Got a nice, I got a nice elk pelt back there. You can look. Oh, it's gonna be just so you comfortable. Know Emerald Ranch. Mind uh, taking me there? Wow, that's that could be. Glad I uh, ran into you. I'm glad I ran into you. I raised that horse, you know. Raised oh. it since it was just a foal. Uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool always complaining, but does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away, aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit, 
He was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once? I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise, because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide, too, as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <coughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. Yep. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. The lights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now. But I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Either way, it's time I left. Especially now I lost that poor horse. I'll collect my belongings and be on my way. Back home? I guess. I bet my husband's right where I left him. Bottle in hand. Oh, we're getting close now. Boy, she's so willing to share everything. <laughs> to complete stranger. Hey, boy. Say hi to the uh, resident dog, you know. Uh, howdy. Got your woman hey here. There, or one of your women. The woman is here. I got her. This is great. All right, there you go. This was kind of you, Mister. Please take this as my way of thanking you. What was? What did you hand me? A silver <laughs> emblem Appreciate ring. Mm-hmm. Okay. What a lousy day. What a lousy day. I can't. I. I can't. I, I don't know where those spires are. I, I know I saw rocks like that before, and I just don't know where they are now. Whoa, easy. Oh, Driscoll's right down below us there. Those are old Driscoll's. I think that's the camp I just took out last night. Easy. Stay right there, buddy. Sophia. Okay, we got a guy sleeping over here. One, two, three, four. Last time there was like five. Okay, there's like five guys here. And then a couple more came in off the hillside. Since I'm coming up empty handed with my treasure map at the moment, perhaps this is my treasure that I'm supposed to be going after.
health bad. I don't want to die. Nothing else for my... I can't get nothing else for my uh, health, huh? Is gonna show up. That was bad. That was really bad. Uh, there. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Sophia took off. It's like that's an awful lot of shooting. All right. Let's go clean up our stuff. One more guy to loot. There we go. Crows are at him already. Okay, that's a little something we could donate to camp, though. At least we're not coming back home empty-handed, you know? That badger area is right around here, too. Uh, she's acting a little squirrely right there. Wolfheart, look at that. Nice, okay, big game meat, there we go, a couple stringy things, perfect raccoon pelt, we needed that. Uh, the good wolf pelt, I forgot all about that, but we'll throw it here so we can just use it for a donation. And let's take a look at those upgrades again. I'm still missing the badger. Missing the badger there, but look at this one here, we're almost there, just need the panther pelt, and then I need to look, oh, I should have tried to hunt that bison too. All right, well, we know there's a couple of them handy around us, but we did get that raccoon pelt taken care of, so we need a, a badger pelt and a panther pelt. Badger and panther, if we get those two next, then we just move on to the bison. Uh, Iguana is down by the swamp, which I don't know where that's at yet. And then we got a beaver, so we'll have to track down a beaver too. Nice. I reckon I'm going to think about it. Yeah, uh, it'll happen. It'll happen. Don't you worry about that. So, we, we did get today, I think. We didn't quite get to the treasure, as I had hoped. But, um, you know, I'll look into it and see if I can get it figured out. And then we'll take you guys on a treasure a treasure hunt and all that good stuff. All right, that is going to wrap up today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share on the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.